Do your work. Uh, explain and how you decide mm-hmm. to place the decimal point problem three. Yeah, what you do? Ah, uh, two point twenty four point nine six. Yeah, but why did you put it? Why did you put it here and not here? I put it behind the twenty four ninety six. How come? It's because they're, they're easy for me. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna give you the answer. Okay. And you're going to write it. You can write it any way you want, okay? What is it? So. Josh, turn and look at Daddy. Uh, mommy, I don't want to do the on the white breath breath. What's the matter? Daddy, do you want to work with me? What's the matter with Daddy? Yeah, I don't like it. Like what? The breath <laughs> uh. Josh, focus on your work. Now with your decimals, baby. How did you know where to put the decimal? How did you know how to do that? Uh, I use it with, I put it behind the, like on the 20, I put it behind the 24 and 96. Okay. okay. How did you know how to do that? It's right. I Since the... It's I N. What's this, Mommy? What's this thing called? It's I N. It's for your breathing. Sits. S I N C E. No. Since the. Since the. Decimal point. D E. Look, that's right here. D E C. I. M A L. <laughs> Mommy, stop, Daddy, stop. Uh, Since the decimal point <laughs> is two places over to the left. Uh-huh. Since the decimal point you write it, is two places over to the left. Point. No, right at point, P-O-I-N-T. Ew, I don't stop. like a breath. <laughs> Not too close. <laughs> oh Not too close. <laughs> What's his breath smell like? Ah, uh, bunny wings from the hoagie. <laughs> bunny wings. <laughs> Rings. Your uh, breath smells like monkey butt. Gosh, you're so uh, I don't want to. <laughs> Just don't. All right, let him go. Since the decimal point is two places over to the left. Is two. Two. P L. Places, yeah. And right, give yourself some space. There. Over to the left. No. Uh, <laughs> I got it wrong. Look. Over oh, to the left. the left. There. All done. You do the same. Say. You do, do the, the Same thing with the, the answer. Okay. Right, do these. Oh, uh, but I know. Uh, <laughs> I think I think I do. I I do need a calculator. No, you don't need a calculator to do this. No. We divide. We divide six by. I can't. What well, can you divide six by? Look, 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 look. I can't. I'm too tired. Don't be a Josh, stinky monkey. Come on, do your work. I need the calculator. No, look, look. What do you multiply six by to get something that's less than twenty-four, less than twenty-five, but not more? Is is it fifty? No. no. Six times what? So <laughs> no, six times what gives you twenty? Something that's closest to 25. Ah. Uh-huh. Look, look. Five. No. I can't stand it. What's six times five? 30. Okay, that's, that's too big. What's six times four? 24. Okay. So you put 24. <laughs> okay. And you put a four up here, and you got a point. So you got a minus. Five minus four equals what? Five. One. Okay. Bring down the two. Twelve. Six divided by... Six divided by what? Six times what gives you twelve? 
six times four. Uh, two. All right, four point two. This was all you. Excuse Good job. Me. Now you do it again. No. Uh, what do you want? You got like what? What is a number? <laughs> what do you? What number do you? Four. What number do you multiply to get a number that's less than 15 but not more? Aha. Uh -huh. It's really close to 15. Five times three. Okay, so write three up here. All right, now you got to write 12 down here. So it's four times three is 12. Okay. All right. And then you subtract. What's 15 minus 12? Ah, uh -huh. three. Okay. So you bring down four. What do you multiply four by to get something that's close to 30, 34? Ah, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. 68. No. What do you multiply? 30. What number do you multiply by four to get something close to thirty-four? Thirty-four. Ah. Uh -huh. No, look. Six times four what? Four times what will give you something close to thirty-four? Mm. How about four times eight? Four times eight. We'll What's four what? times eight? Thirty-two. Okay, so look. Thirty-four. Okay, four times eight is thirty-two. So you do that with thirty-four minus thirty-two. Forty-two minus. Thirty-four minus thirty-two. Uh huh. Look, you can do this. I want to. Okay. All right. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Okay. What do you multiply four by to get twenty-eight? Ah, uh, seven. Okay, seven. Thirty-eight point seven. Okay, that's one. You're doing the next one. Okay. Mm. Where's decimal point going this one? Right here. Uh, is it five? Yep, right above the five. Right here. Yeah. What's where I put it? Right here. Between the five and an eight. The five and the eight? Yeah. Five times equals 40? No, 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 no. Look, look. You put it Excuse right me. here. So nine times what will give you something close to 58? I caught it. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Aha. Four. Four. What? No, that's only going to be 36. What's not? How about a number that's really close? 40 equals 58. No, it's too hard. No, what's the number? What's nine times five? Forty-five. Okay, so forty-five is a little bit too easy. Small. How about what's nine times six? First, uh, uh, fifty-four. Okay, right, fifty-four. Mm -hmm. On the bottom. Take yeah. your time. Oh, oh yeah. Look, right, right there on the bottom. Right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Okay. Nine times six. Nine times six is with a, a, a fifty-four. Would you multiply nine by three forty-five? Uh, uh, five. All right, so you put a five right there.